All right, guys, here it is, the video that I've been waiting to do. Uh, this is my HTC U Ultra, and I've got Oreo on this thing. So uh, they decided to push this out. I don't know when it pushed out, but I turned my phone on today, and I have Oreo, as you can see there, Android 8.0. I did the update, and uh, everything settled in. Uh, it is still a fantastic phone. You know, the great part about this is that, um, you know, people kind of doubted uh, HTC, for a lot of reasons about this phone. But, you know, the jokes on those people, I think, because so many people say so many bad things about this phone, when in fact, this phone is actually fantastic. And so I want to do a quick video, letting you guys know that I do have Oreo on this thing now. I do use it. This is just a skin from the HTC Steam store, if you're, you're ready to ask me about that. Uh, but this phone ran great without Oreo. And the fact that HTC actually pushed Oreo to the phone means a lot. Uh, it, it means that they actually care about their customers to me because there's phones out there that I have that cost way more and, and they still don't have Oreo. I don't need to blast any companies or anything like that, but you know who they are. So the fact that this phone is a year old or more, I think this came out, uh, yeah, January, came out in January. So uh, a year ago, I brought, I've had this phone since launch. So, you know, the phone got Oreo. Now, it didn't get it quick, but it got it. Uh, and there's other phones in my fleet of phones, because I have a whole bunch that still don't have Oreo. Uh, and we're also, we're heading into Android P probably pretty soon. But, you know, performance on this thing is going to be smooth because uh, I don't, uh, I never had any problems prior to getting Oreo. So, you know, I'm happy to see a lot of uh, companies updating their phones. And I think it's more than fair uh, that you give HTC a round of applause for, you know, you can call them the comeback kids or whatever you want to call them. They're updating their phones uh, and they've lowered the price on this phone in, in multiple places. They've given dips, discounts and things like that. You can get this phone for under 300 bucks right now. And when you think about it, it's a quad HD display, beautiful 12 megapixel, dual stereo speaker setup, 3000 milliamp hour battery, four gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 821. I mean, it has a killer DAC in here uh, along with those stereo speakers and the front camera is great. I mean, there's, there's a lot to like about this phone right here. And I think you guys should really give it a shot. I'm still not going to write it off. Even though it's getting Oreo now, um, I'm, I'm still hoping that people will give this phone a try. A lot of you guys just purchased this phone because I can see it in some of your comments when you go back when you're watching videos of this phone. So uh, it's your man, J. Will. Quick video, two, three minutes just to let you know. Android Oreo has come to my phone. If you've already had it for a while, let me know how your performance is in the comments. And I'll tell you later on how mine is after using this for a while because this SIM tray is not broken. So <laughs> it's just, I have to, man. I have to, I had to say it, you know, my, my U11, um, this is still one of my favorite phones. It does have Oreo as well. It got Oreo a long time ago, uh, but my SIM tray broke. I bought, I bought a repair kit. You've heard the story. I'm not going to get into that. Nonetheless, this is the beast. Oh, love this phone. Always like this phone. So, HTU Ultra fans, rejoice. Grab this phone because it has Oreo now, and it performed well without Oreo. So, it's your man, J. Will. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.